العناصر الدولية تقدم محافظة اقتصادية Sideline Story brings you all things sports related. The hottest topics, latest events, juicy stories, all with a funny personal take. Subscribe to Sideline Story Podcast for heated sports discussions covering events that are happening in China and around the world. A roundup of the main business news from China and elsewhere. This is It's Global Business. Hello and welcome to Global Business here on CDDN. I'm Gwen Ching in Beijing. Coming up, Progress. China's People's Liberation Army launched its biggest exercise to gauge around Taiwan. Both of the to analyze the economic fallout from the region. Day or Qixi Festival in Chinese. We check out how the festival economy is bolstering consumption recovery. And the first ship to leave the Ukrainian port of Odessa with rain shipments has been leveling after an inspection off the coast of Istanbul. The Chinese People's Liberation Army (DPLA) conducted large military exercises around the Taiwan Island today. Most of the rooms. Aspect principal, princely look. 
every day we broadcast the top 15, then loads and loads and loads of the songs that we're playing this weekend are those that feature regularly in those charts. Uh, what about this? Something a little newer from the 90s, Uncle Cracker. Great song on Caroline North. The sharply higher U.S. interest rates uh, in, in an effort to address inflation take their toll. So, no, we're not in recession now, but we're most likely headed there later this year or in 2023. Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for precious pearls. He finds one of great value. He then sells all that he has to buy that one pearl. In the first story, you might think the man should have told the owner of the field what he had found. In Jesus' time, it was Jewish law that the finder of such a treasure would be able to claim it. From signs of patriotism to great sacrifice, India and Pakistan marking 75 years of independence. Hello everyone, I'm Asiye Namdar in for Anand Naidu and you're watching The Heat. In 1947, after 200 years of British rule, the Indian subcontinent was split into two states known today as India and Pakistan. Balita mula sa ibat ibang lalawigan at rehiyon dito sa Pilipinas. Sa mantaan ang antebayana naman po ang ating mga business, sports, service. Unahin natin ang business news at narito si. موعد صلاة المغرب حسب التوقيت المحلي للجزائر العاصمة وضوحيها
investing this money that God has moved upon the people of God to uh, stand with us. And by the way, while we're talking about that, more drone attacks against Russian targets have been reported in Crimea and other occupied parts of Ukraine. Meanwhile, discussions continue on securing access for a UN nuclear inspection mission to the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which Moscow controls. Parliament in the Balkan state of Montenegro has passed a motion of no confidence in the government of Prime Minister Drutina Bazovic. An agreement he had signed with the Serbian Orthodox Church angered the president. Sideline Story brings you all things sports related. The hottest topic, latest events, juiciest stories, all with a very personal take. Subscribe to Sideline Story Podcast for heated sports discussions covering events that are happening in China and around the world. The latest on corporate front, all the market trends, expert opinion, and sound business advice. It is your unique window into the business world, direct from the heart of China. Welcome to Biz Today. I'm Zhao Yang in Beijing. Coming up, we will have half an hour of business news and analysis. As stories include, U.S. President Joe Biden has signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. But how can it solve the problem? And Live from St. James's Park on the BBC World Service. Thinking of that fish and bread seems to make that passage look, feel, taste, and even smell real to me. You know, music does a similar thing for me. It not only tells a story, but it has the power to take me back to a specific time and place. I can still see the images and feel the emotions I felt when I first experienced the song. This world news from the BBC. A jury in the United States has convicted two members of a militia group of plotting to kidnap the governor of Michigan State. Hello and welcome to the newsroom from BBC World Service with me, Jamal Kiyan. Six months on from Russia's invasion, Ukraine is preparing to mark its Independence Day in a subdued manner, amid warnings from US intelligence of possible further Russian attacks on civilian targets. I'm Larry Sauber, and that's Sauber and friends. Writer Bob Gash likes to tell this story about commitment to his audience. Terry Fox went from one end of Canada to the other and raised $24 million to fight cancer, the disease that finally took his life. You have been listening to the Voice of Courtier's English language transmission, broadcasting from Ankara in the 19 meter band between 12.30 and 13.30 for UTC on 15450 kHz to Europe. You can listen to us over the Telstra 3A and 4A satellites and on the internet at www.crt.net.cr through the Voice of Turkey link. Our email address is English at crt.net.cr. Thank you for listening to the Voice of Turkey and goodbye. Before we begin our broadcast, let's have a quick look at the headlines. British Prime Minister disallows any partnership with the left. It's the approach to KK. Italy will walk away from Russian gas by the end of 2024. The UN chief calls for peace as Ukraine marks the 31st Independence Day. Next in the forecast, it's all that jazz. Today with me, Christina Matejsko. Let's begin with a piece called Four Brothers, composed by Jimmy Joffre. 
and performed by the vocal jazz quartet from Sibiu, led by Nicola Ionescu, together with Mihai Berinde's band. The song was recorded in 1985 and was later included on an album called Fresh Sound, brought out by a little record five years later. <laughs> Kuran Salatna is Katatrosa Lohums in a Vatican, the Mada to Congo Tigrina, EU. Radio Exterior de España. Son las ocho, las siete en Canarias. Veinticuatro horas. Radio Nacional de España. Carlos Núñez. Buenas tardes, manos a la obra. Europa se remanga, empieza a dar los primeros pasos para la reforma del mercado eléctrico. Lo primero, como en cualquier problema, reconocer... U.S. President Joe Biden has called the leaders of two U.S. veterans group assisting Afghans who fled their country as the U.S. As the US withdrew a year ago. Ben Thomas reports.